G'day friends, and welcome back to the Ten Hearts server. We are on our quest for a jungle. We are 3,400 odd blocks out from spawn, and still heading onwards. This, uh, yeah, it's about a, ooh, this looks dangerous, doesn't it? Pods all there. This is about a floating block of gravel, magical crap. Bad guys over there. Ah, oh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, it's about a week after the last episode, and you know I could always fast forward to like. Here I am, in the middle of nowhere, and I found the uh, found a jungle. Yay for me! But. I think we're going to adopt the Kurt J. Mac approach and say it's not just the destination, guys, it's the journey. Because, oh wow, good dang, if that isn't some cool terrain right there. And that lava is still spreading, and I kind of want to... <laughs> I jumped over a creeper. Yeah. Wowee. Okay. This amplified terrain is something else. Uh, I'm not going to continue with the AMA questions today. Mostly because I haven't got Reddit open. So, yeah, <laughs> not going to take the time out to find the questions and go through them again. Today it will just be me talking about things and stuff. I have a bit of time, currently upgrading the operating system on my new computer, which is not like normal computers, it's a Qboxy, so it's a 2 inch by, man this is hard to traverse this terrain. 2 inch by 2 inch by 2 inch computer but it's actually quite powerful um, for what it is it runs using oh man uh, are any of these tunnels? I do not want to find out let's ride the waterfall um, yeah it's quite a powerful computer not that that really matters um, but it runs on only, I think, 3 watts of power, or 1 watt when it's idling, which is, like, nothing. Um, that's very little power, and it's dead silent, it has no fans in it, which is exactly, this is really dangerous, um, is exactly the reason why... I purchased it because it's going to be my upload computer. So I'm setting up a file share on it and then when I record stuff for you guys. Uh oh. Please, not above me. I do not want to get knocked off. No, indeed. You would not want to do Firelands or Bust in this world. It is tricky to get around and say, oh, hello, wolf. You guys are suicidal. Oh, my. Oh, lordy. Hope you're not mad at me, wolf. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, it's my uploading computer. So I drop files into this file share. And then they got to YouTube overnight, and instead of running my normal gaming PC, which is like a huge, big, power-hungry beast of a computer, um, I'm being very eco-friendly, and I cannot for the life of me see where things are, so I'm just going, Ooh, I don't know where the land is. Okay. Oh, man, I'm going to have to go up through it all again. Oh, um, 
So that is the purpose of that, and while I'm upgrading that, I thought I would jump on here and have a chat to you friendly friends of frienditude. So if you've been watching my channel, you will have noticed lately there has been a <laughs> there has been a large number of ultra hardcore recorded rounds that I have been participant in. There's miners down under. There is uh, heroes in battle, and we are at the flat core. Uh, and there's even more coming. It's just one of those things where, for some reason, um, they all decided to air at roughly the same time, which is good for me, because I like a bit of UHC. Good for you guys if you like watching it. So be sure to check that out. On top of that, what else have we had? I've been playing a lot of Spelunky, not uploading it, unfortunately. You shall die now and produce delicious steak. No, no, not in the water. No. My god, that cow is running a mile an hour. Oh, clever girl. Fine. Fine. You win this round, cow. I really should take advantage of these flat areas to, uh... Ooh, bit of a leg swipe. Take out Le Catil. <gasps> Swamp. That could mean we're getting closer to a jungle. Maybe. Oh. Why, hello. Mineshaft. And more swamp and more hills. Another very interesting try. Oh, Skelly over there. We shall avoid him. Spider's nest up there. Lots of chickens down here. It's a weird little feature there. Okay. We're going to head up the hillside. Wait, first of all, we're just going to check. Yeah, no gravel above us. Only sky above us. Reference to song. So yeah, lots of UHC. Like every day, there's been an ep coming out. And... 25 blocks, not quite enough to get us to the very top. Close though, I can use this old trick. Yeah. Ooh. Oh god, uh, water bucket fail. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, this was possibly a bad idea. Oh, now it's getting dark. There we go. Oh, and now we're going to have a massive flood off the side of the wall there. Shugsies. Okay. Let's get up off the, the ground. Can I not do that? Okay, fine. Treetop bungalow. <laughs> and awakeness. We didn't even check. Day 9 of spring. That's good for us. That means... We can make some reasonable progress. Alright, let's get out of this swamp. Hopefully that means we're warming things up. Although, I know you can get cold swamps in Minecraft now. Ooh, deep cave. Deep cave. So what else is news? Uh, I went to visit 
my parents on the weekend just been long weekend here in Australia Queen's birthday we are part of the Commonwealth of Great Britain whatever however you call that Canada is with us yay Canada um, Queen's birthday although the weird thing is different states in Australia separate different Queen's birthday weekend. I don't really know how it works. All I know is I got Monday off, so we took little girlie to visit her grandparents, which was great for our car trip there and back. But it was a lot of fun actually. Um, oh my god! Ha! Huh. Hey guys! <laughs> There's a village up here. This must be amplified again. I'm a bit worried. It's like there's no normal terrain generating. What's your trade, bro? Emeralds. Wait, is this a... Oh my god, what a bum village. It's like the monastery of... The hilltop monastery. Here we go. Ha, oh, cool. You might want to get back in there, Father Bob. And I've just taken all your food. I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. There we go. You can now get home. Good for you, Sir Choir. That was unexpected. Got us more food at least. As we keep heading straight. Um, oh yeah, that's something to talk about. So one of the reasons why I'm heading straight and not in an angle, um, despite the fact that it's like the... Oh, look, I'm at Y of 15, so I'm doing really well. Despite the fact that it's just easier to head in a straight line in Minecraft and not get lost. Um, one of the new imp implementing features, features I'm implementing, is that blocks of land... 2000 by 2000 at the coordinates 2000 2000 out from spawn in each of the four directions every week that terrain will be set to regenerate so you don't want to build there because you'll lose whatever you build but the idea being when people join the server because I think one of the biggest things that contributes a little to the death of any server community um, is the lack of, oh it's a ship, it's another ship, is the lack of any new terrain to, oh that gives me something else to talk about in a minute, um, the lack of any new terrain to explore, basically, you know, uh, I guess what we will build then, a couple boaties, and because there's no new terrain, people are just like, well, I don't really want to play. Um, it's all been explored, it's all tracked out. No good for me. Yeah, that's a massive mountain. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, and I, I want to avoid that on this server. I want it to be so that there's always some new terrain to explore. And, Oh yeah, expect lag, alright, because we're coming up to the edge of the world as we know it. Alright, we need to see if we can find a lake and we can boat down into the lake. That would be awesome. Oh no. That would have been fatal. Look at this. There's a mineshaft chest. Is there an easy way? Can we get to this? We can get to this. Should we explore it? Three minecart chests, man. Alright, we can get to it over here. Cannot get to it. No, I thought it was just a little closer. Because all oh, those cave spider nests. Not a big fan of those, to tell you the truth. Especially in uh, the middle of the day. We should be alright. We should be okay. Definitely need some blocks on the bar. Oh, see there's a zombie. How did he spawn? And why is he not burnt? There he goes. 
This is so bizarre that this is a thing that I can do. I can go down a waterfall to a mine shaft. <laughs> Alright, there's a few dark patches. <gasps> oh, nice. I want. Um, okay. Let's get up above the cave spiders. If one of them hits us, it's going to be a problem. All right, let's just get you out of the way. Very good. Very nice. Uh, now, what was the thing? Oh yeah, water, water things. So it sounds, it sounds by the sounds of the Jeb. Is it like? Can I not open these things because of the crafting delay thing? Is that a thing that? Oh, melon seeds. Awesome. So that's one less thing I need. I just need cocoa beans now. We can turn around. Now we want to get some saplings and things from the. <gasps> that scared me. Dirt we don't need. What we don't need. I wonder what fell off. Stuff keeps falling off. Wow, this is easy loot. Yeah, man. Now, uh, so Mojang talked about new mobs for the water. Everyone's speculating on what it will be. We should find out very soon. I think it's going to be a new boss mob. I sh he did say there was like a water dungeon. So you would think it would be a boss mob. Ah, that's the wrong type of wood. Ah, stick it out. Sticky bum. We have a lot of stuff. We don't need pumpkin seeds. We can get them. Alright, creeper, we shall avoid you. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit scatterbrained. It's the middle of the week. I have a feeling I've sort of started talking about five different subjects and stopped. But we're going to focus on the water mob thing. Boss mob. I kind of hope it's an awesome water boss, but... You know. You never know with Mojang. They can sometimes ball things up, balls things up. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it, whatever it is. It's going to be a bit of a problem when the new thing comes out. I think it's going to break a lot of code uh, that I've written, which means it might take forever to update this world to the latest thing, but it's something I'm going to work on pretty diligently because I want to play. Oh my god, Doom Squid. Jumping down on my head. I want to play around with slime blocks and things like that. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I got distracted while talking about as well was the um, the what do you call that? The regenerating terrain because um, I suppose that's another reveal I can reveal is. The um, dungeons have books in them, and I can't remember if I've explained this. Dungeons can have books in them. The books have basically what's known as epic loot books. So um, for every player who's ever logged into the server, there are books placed in chests for them. <gasps> oh. Oh, <laughs> we are not ready for this. We are not even close to ready for this. Uh, what's that coordinates? 5,000 blocks out, Z of 114. Okay. Ah, uh, man. All right. The model for the wither spawns in 
when you are 64 blocks away from the dungeon. So when you are 64 blocks away from the Wither Dungeon, let's see. Well, I'll leave it up to someone else to localize it, because I really don't want to spawn any Withers. Um, not least because I didn't leave my bed behind me. But the model spawns in when you're 64 blocks away from the dungeon, and that is why you get that health bar up there. And let me tell you, it's enough to make you kind of poop your pants, because I just went, oh my god. I would be so dead. Especially considering that... Man, look at this train. Especially considering that the... Um, oh god, the... Dungeon spawning logic can mean that you get... Look at that, seeming like a skull. Okay, scary times. That logic can mean that you can get four withers spawn. So this is most definitely a team... A team-based thing that we want to do, if we do. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Here be withers, out that way somewhere. Um, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to leave that bear, I'm going to dump some iron, going to dump the gold, going to dump the melon, flint, yeah, saddle, leather, keep that, alright, that's cool, so we've put a bit of that stuff back, I'll leave the bed there as well, so now we have a respawn point near the wither, if it happens, <sighs> that gives me the, the the heebie-jeebies, as it were. Didn't I make a heap of boats? Do I still have them? I do. Okay, let's take a boat. Take a boat ride. To King's Cross Station. Something also seems to be kind of up with the terrain. It's meant to go amplified flat regular, amplified flat regular, but as far as I can see it seems to just be going, wow that's cool, it seems to just be going amplified flat, amplified flat, which I'm not super against, but uh, I would like some flat for the building of, so I might have to fix the code that does that, which I have obviously bollocked up at some junction. Um, big mount thing, however has sheep, which we kind of need. Oh, I didn't want you to break. Do I have shears? I don't have shears. I'm never going to get those sheep down safely. We're not even going to try. <gasps> wow. Check this out. It's like a ravine bisecting. Alright, well we can't go this way. Hello. You heard that I needed you. Run around, run around like mad. We'll do that. Very nice. Very nice. Ugh, I keep seeing like withers out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> it's scary. Probably not going to be able to make a, a. Probably not going to be able to make a. What do you call those things? A bed in time anyway, because I used to craft up. Let's see, what have I done? I've nearly done three day cycles, so I think we'll have to call it a night after that. Not made as much progress this time on our quest for the jungle. But still going, still hoping. And boy oh boy, did we find something interesting in this episode. Mark this one down, kids. Because in a few episodes time, when I can put protection 3 on that, speaking of which, that reminded me of something else I started talking about and stopped, um, we will come back out here and we will take that with a dungeon on with some friends. Because that's what friends are f Oh. 
Thank you, Cloud, for occluding my vision. Okay, no, wait. This would be regular terrain, I think. Or maybe not. This is scary and dangerous. All it takes is one skeleton to ruin my afternoon. Or a creeper in the overhang. Alright, let's get running. Horses! Ah, oh, I left behind my saddle. That was silly. Silly bag. Not that I think horses would be much cop in this particular terrain, but... Ah, dang. i got to improve my parkour. Parker. There you go. Okay. You are going to die, pig. Um, oh yeah, books. Protection books. Okay, so as I was saying, each player who's ever logged onto the server, there will be books that spawn in dungeons that can only be read by that player. And they will give coordinates. And the coordinates are places quite a long way out. So we're talking like 10,000 blocks out, you know, like a long way out. And if they head to those coordinates, there will be an item in a chest, along with some gold and diamonds and stuff. And that item will be like a diamond chest plate with protection four, thorns three, like we're talking op kit here. Um, and the idea of that is to get people to, to go adventuring. And look at this, it's like a flower forest. Wow, flat flower forest. How pretty. We might end up our uh, end up our journey out here somewhere, perhaps maybe at the end of this flat section. How far out are we now? Five thousand seven hundred. Cool. Still no jungle though, but I don't know. Do flower forests indicate a jungle or not? You for me and me for you. Woo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like Spike, don't die. Oh no. Oh, it's just the world rendering. So happy together. No, 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 no. Another swamp. Maybe things are getting warmer. This is really kind of just fun. Just traversing the... Ooh, lava pools. Traversing the world. Alright, this one's dangerous because there's a lava pool right under me. We'll go to the end of this day and then that'll be that'll be the game right there. Um Yeah, so epic epic armor. Uh you can get all four pieces, and once you've got those four pieces you can't um it won't spawn twice. Like that's it. It's just those four pieces. And then the you can get a sword and a bow, and that's it. Um, but the idea is basically, oh, I hear a skelly. The idea is to, yeah, to reward exploration of dungeons, and then when people explore those dungeons, they will um, get sent on quests out into the middle of nowhere, and when they do that, they'll find awesome terrain, and when they find awesome terrain, they might find wither dungeons and yada yada yada. So, yeah, the idea is to just generally get people exploring. Oh, 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 where am I? Where am I? Right there. Oh, good. Eh. Alright, I need to work on my, uh... I need to work on my exits. Not the most graceful thing. And highly dependent on there not being bad mobs. You know one thing I haven't seen? Which it's hut. Bet you won't see many of them in this world. Not that they're much good for much, except for witch grinders, I guess, but... Yeah. Maybe we should head back in the nether or something. That'd be a cool adventure. Or a deadly one, one or the other. 
I think we want to go back via that. Spawner though. Or at least where it is. Okay. Where are we now? Been sort of drifting south just a little. Just a little. There's an ass right there. Chunk errors, what can we see? Mine shafts. So I think that's discussed about everything I wanted to talk about for now. If you've got any questions for me, feel free to chuck them in the description below. Ooh, nearly took full damage. I will be happy to answer any and all questions. If you have any things you'd like to see me do particularly, I'm happy to answer them as well. I kind of want to get this adventuring, like once I've done this big adventure thing, then we can get back to some building. But I'd also like your thoughts. What do you guys prefer to see? Building? Whoop, whoop, we're stuck. Building, adventuring, you know, questing for things. Um, oh yeah, in the new update I'm coding at the moment, another thing I added was a couple new food items that make caving more interesting, like for example the food items give you speed boosts and, oh, dungeon? I kind of want to explore this because the odds of even finding a zombie dungeon are like one in some insane amount, so that would be unique in and of itself. Let's check it out. Oh, hey guy. Nope, looks like just zombies in a cave. Doing their thing, being zombies. That's cool. Food for days. And mountainous terrains. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so what, what do you prefer to see me doing? Adventuring, building? Got some big plans for building. I, I really want to get back to spawn, actually, and check it out, because I know that my good friend, my good German friend, Ferrigis, has been doing all sorts of building back there. And I know he helped out Dibscraft when Dibs logged on. So I kind of want to get back there, see what's happening. Oh, look at the world. I love being able to see through it. Uh, where's the sun? The sun is going down, and I am stuck in a swamp. Probably I wish to fix that situation. And I'm not sure if I have a craft yet. I do, okay. We have a bed. I should have made more than one. Silly boy. Regardless, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bye-bye.